I'm not showing you my muscle. This tattoo right here means mercy. And I'm just now learning what that means. Hey guys, welcome back to Joey Talks Life. My name is Joey, and on today's episode, I wanna to talk to you about mercy. Now, I am someone who was brought up in Christianity, and so the term mercy and grace was very common in the language of the people that I grew up around, um, so much so that I never really gave it any consideration. And as many things in life, I don't think we really understand what something means until we have to experience it ourselves. And so recently in the last few weeks um, and over the last few years, there have been a few instances where I have been done wrong. I have been betrayed. Um, there have been moments where I, I have felt rejected or have been treated unkindly by some of the closest people to me, which obviously that um, causes a lot of pain. One thing that I noticed coming up within myself is my initial reaction towards these situations was wanting to make the other people pay for hurting me. Now, I don't think I consciously would think that. I think I have lived with this tendency in me for most of my life. So I wouldn't normally think, oh, I'm, you know, basically being an asshole. I'm going to make them pay. <laughs> but I think we all kind of do this in close relationships where when someone hurts us, we, in essence, subconsciously want them to suffer the same or equal amount of pain which they've inflicted on us. Now, that sounds real dark and twisted, but. I think it's part of how we cope with our humanity a lot of the times, especially again in intimate relationships, um, not just romantic, but just relationships where the person knows you really well, you know them really well, they know what hurts you, they know what means a lot to you and all of that. And so it can be very painful when someone does betray you or someone does hurt you and they know they've hurt you. Um, or sometimes they don't know you, they've hurt you, but in their ignorance, they hurt you. And so for the last few weeks, I've just been wrestling with my heart and there's been a lot of like things that are unsettled in me. And I know it's because of this unforgiveness. It's this holding something against someone. It's holding um, what they did as almost punishment. Like, because you did this, you deserve to be punished in essence. And sometimes that just looks like withholding yourself, withholding emotionally. Sometimes that's giving someone the silent treatment or mistreating them back or when they need you, you're not there for them um, because you just want to show them that what they did was so wrong. And I don't think I'm the only person out there in the world that uh, sees this stuff within myself. I think a lot of people live in denial and don't want to see these things in themselves because we all want to think that we're good people and, and we are, we're, you know, my heart is good, but we have these defects. We have these things that trip us up. We have wounds and trauma and unresolved issues from our past that cause us to act in unhealthy ways and in ways that are not freeing to the soul. And so as I've been on this process, I was praying yesterday and God just started sharing with me, Joey, mercy and unforgiveness, they cannot occupy the same space. Um, and God was showing me that he was showing me, like he was saying to me, I am merciful. I am always merciful. I am full of mercy. And if you want to be like me and you want to be connected to me, you too have to show mercy. Otherwise, the unforgiveness or the lack of mercy or withholding mercy is creating like a boundary, a block um, between the peace in my heart that I'm looking for and what I'm actually operating in. And so I went to this parable that Jesus taught in Matthew 18, where a powerful man um, had someone who owed him a lot of money. And when you translate how much money it was, it was 20 years worth of wages. So a lot of money. And the powerful person said to the dude, listen, I'm going to have mercy on you. I will forgive you of all of your debt. And uh, the dude went from begging 
uh, pleading, saying, I will pay you back to being elated. And then a few days later, uh, this dude who was forgiven of all of this debt had someone who owed him a small amount of money, let's say a year's worth or a half a year's worth. And he was relentless. He would not forgive this person of their debt. And he wanted to throw them in prison because they owed him money. Well, the original powerful guy who forgave the dude who owed him 20 years worth of wages got ear of this and called in the guy in which he had forgiven the 20 years of debt and was enraged and threw him in prison and said, how could you do this? I have forgiven you 20 years worth of wages. This dude owed you a little bit of money and you were unmerciful to him. It humbled me because I have been given so much mercy by other people and definitely by God. There's so much that I have done in my life that I deserve punishment, that I deserve uh, condemnation for, and I never find that in God. He is always merciful. He is always kind and generous and long-suffering. When I had this epiphany during prayer, I felt the ability to have mercy, to extend mercy to those in my life who have hurt me. And I went and looked up the definition and basically mercy by definition, according to Webster or whatever, is that it's to have compassion on someone in which you have the right to punish them. That's deep, man. That hits me to my core. To have compassion on someone that you have the right to punish. I can't explain what that does in me, but it awakens something so powerful, something so loving, something so kind that frees my heart and frees my soul. I think it's so easy for us to want and expect mercy from others. It's a lot more challenging for us to give it. And I think that's what that parable was getting at. When we recognize how much mercy has been given to us, how much more should we have mercy on others. And I guess to end this video, I just want to say that I am so grateful that God is full of mercy. Uh, another part of the Bible in the book of James, it says mercy triumphs over judgment. And those are the two options we have in every situation. When we're done wrong, we can either have judgment or we could have mercy. But mercy always triumphs over judgment. It's always the higher it's the better. It's the one that has greater authority and greater power. Judgment is easier. I mean, we all judge all the time. It's just second nature to us in our humanity. But to have mercy is a divine act. It's partnering with God. It's recognizing that he is merciful. And therefore, I get to be merciful to others. Well, I hope me sharing a little bit of my life and these last few weeks with you has spoken to you. Um, and if it has, uh, please leave comments below. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I talk about more than just my faith here. Obviously, I talk about lots of different things, uh, things that I geek out on like supplements and longevity, uh, my kratom withdrawals and all of that good stuff. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the little bell if you always want notifications, give the video a thumbs up. And if there's any topics that come to mind that you'd love to hear my thoughts on, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Thanks again for stopping by Joey Talks Life today. I will see you on the next video.